I know some of you people like to hate and always pretend that it couldn't be you. You couldn't get involved in selling courses. You couldn't get involved in selling makeup and it coming out like trash or something like that. You couldn't get involved in uh, taking this um, opportunity. Some of you motherfuckers hate on the hot tour girl. Y'all hate on Haley Welch. Y'all hate on her because she now can do stuff that you will never be able to do. I don't care if y'all think she's the energy plant or anything like that. From what I could tell, and I've watched the podcast, she seems like a pretty boring person. But the money's there. So why not keep it rolling? I can't hate on somebody like that. You know what I mean? But y'all motherfuckers thinking y'all are so quick to be like, man, if it was me and I and I got on camera and said hop to it and I got a podcast, it'd be so much better. No, the fuck it wouldn't. Because if you could do it, you'd have done it. You didn't. She got famous off a little clip. I get it. But that doesn't mean that if you were in her same situation, you'd be better than her. You'd be able to get come into, I think she said she's made a million. Are you going to come into a million and then have a very successful podcast? No, motherfucker. You're just as dumb as she is, okay? A lot of us don't know what we're doing, okay? We don't come into a million dollars and then be like, oh, I know exactly what to do. You don't. You don't. So a lot of you people who do do all that hating, for people who have money and think that you can live a much better life if you had it, no, you couldn't. Motherfucker, you can't even put a dollar in your saving account, let alone be able to do anything with that money or even get to where they are. You don't have the discipline. You don't have anything. I'm talking for myself, too. I could easily say, well, if I had all the money, I could look like Chris Bumstead. No, if I had all the money like Chris Bumstead, I'd probably be on 600 pound life right now. My discipline's not there. I know it ain't. I get it. I'd be on 600 pound life and they'd be calling me lunch tray, fruit tray, any kind of tray that has food on it. That's what would be my nickname in the show. And that'd be me. And I'd be on there looking silly. Okay. The more money I would have, the more undisciplined I would have become. Okay. I'm just getting to the point where I've got a little bit of money coming in. And I'm, <laughs> y'all saw what happened. I went from what, 250? Back to 350 in front of y'all's eyes when I started getting a little bit of money. So I'm not here to say that I would be able to do this shit. So I'm hump been humbled and learned that just because you get money, where you start to get just a tiny bit of notoriety, you get a little bit of money coming in from this shit that you just know what to do with it. No, I just became worse. I just became more of a fat ass. And so you people who think that you're because you're broken, you're horrible with money. But if you got money, you'd be better with it. No, motherfucker, you get money and be worse. You probably start gambling. You start doing all the stupid shit that you do already and you end up more broke. Boss babes. Who are broke? Girl, get it together. If you're broke, figure it the hell out. I'm done with this conversation.